are Tyrians. We are many races, several professions. We practice the arts of combat as well as healing. We have foes, and we fight them without mercy. And it's time for us to claim back what is ours. It's time for us to claim back Tyria from the terror of the Elder Dragons. We can't go on living our lives in fear. We have to fight. We have to make a stand. This is our story. Hello everyone and welcome to episode number 21 of the Chronicles of Tyria podcast, Guild Wars 2 podcast for fans, by fans. I will be one of your hosts tonight, Lag here, and I'm here with Naveen. Hello. And Dent makes a return. <gasps> Playa? Playa? <laughs> uh, so that just happened. <laughs> I can't y'all. Dollar dollar bills. Uh, <laughs> Oh, we missed Dent. Yeah. We did a horrible job trying to emulate him last time. Yeah. Did oh, yeah. You probably did. didn't hear. Mm. You're probably acting cray-cray, boo-boo. Naveen oh. <laughs> <laughs> definitely said that. At one oh, my God. <laughs> well, we had to have you on our show. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm, de- I'm done. <laughs> Uh, anyway, mm-hmm. so <laughs> okay, so I'm things gonna... for podcast stuff. Uh, <laughs> it's a thing. Yeah. So as you can tell, we obviously have thought through this episode very, very much, like we do with all of our episodes. <laughs> um, obviously, because we're awesome like that. Yeah. So, we're going to do, we're not doing a lore piece this time, just as a heads up, mostly because we've been toying around with some cool new stuff. So, Naveen, do you want to talk about what's going on or what they can expect in the future? <gasps> Should I? Ooh! Okay. It's up, well, it's up to you. I mean, we could be like <laughs> awful teasers right now and not tell them. But it's up to you. Okay. Let me just say one word. Twitch TV. <gasps> Two words. Oh, it's one link. Yes. Anyway, continue. Sorry. Oh, that was my word. All right. Live okay. show. That's two words. <laughs> okay, there you go. What that means? No, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I'll leave it up to you. Yep. So be on the lookout. Um, we're not. Sh- no, I'm not going to talk anymore about it. That's that. <laughs> uh, so. The COT Weekly news bit that Casey and I are working on is still in the works, Mm -hmm. so hopefully we'll be able to launch when we said we will. What did you say the date was again? Uh, Make me say it again. October 19th? Yes, October 19th is the (laughs) first planned date for recording, so it won't be released on the 19th, but that's the day that we're planning on recording. Is it going to be released before Halloween? Oh, yeah, we're planning, well, again, planning. (laughs) <laughs> Planning on recording on the Friday and then releasing on the following day, so you'll be able to see it on Saturday. Whether or not editing constraints allow us to do that or not, we'll see. Recording what? Oh, this is what happens when you're not around. Casey and I are going to do <laughs> every Friday a, a a news segment where we're just – it's going to be video recorded in your typical news like a newscast show style where we, you know... That's cute. Wear, like, a suit <laughs> and, you know, have cheesy news puns. And, uh, you know, we're going to go over all of the news from Guild Wars 2, from ArenaNet, things that are going on in the game, in the community, stuff like that. Is it going to be like that one Showtime show, Naked News, where you slowly take off your clothes as you're telling <laughs> the story? No. Am I the only one that knows about this? <laughs> yes. Anyone ever on the thing. podcast anyway? <laughs> Anyone 18 and up, go look it up or something. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> um, no, because we, as you know, which is evidence of what's happening right now, our podcast shows seem to get pretty long. And the problem with that a lot of the time is because we talk about the news. 
and we talk about like, oh, hey, did you hear this happened? Oh, hey, did you hear that happened? And then that takes like two hours. And then we're like, oh, yeah, there's a show. So the point of this is to make like a 20-minute concise show where we go over all the news for the week and, you know, talk about anything that's going on. And we'll also have articles posted on the Chronicles of Tyria page. And, you know, we'll talk about the highlights of them, but refer you back. Like, if you want more information, check out the article. Here's the link with an annotation on screen. And, you know, planning on doing that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Um, We already talked about last time we won't be able to do a news or a weather or a sports show because there's no observer mode for PvE or PvP. And uh, there's also the weather is always the same. So. Oh, about that. I think uh, someone posted a comment on the forums. Yeah, I believe it was Opera said we could do something about uh, world versus world rankings and things like that. PvP right. Things. Yeah. So we might do something with that for, for sports, as it were. But uh, when it comes to weather, nope, it's raining in Oregon. If, if, you do, if you do sports and like world versus world stuff, you have to talk like John Madden. Well, you see, I'm not going to do it. Not right now. No, you have to. No, not now. I'm just saying you have to. Then. Okay. It's if it happens... That I, I might have to do that, or we'll have somebody come on and, and be our sportscaster. Can, be, but, yeah. can it be me? I know lots about sports. <laughs> what <laughs> if, kind of sports? If you um, whichever ones that wear the tightest pants. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> if, if you can make the schedule recording, then we can we can do it. But we're gonna cut it together. <laughs> You know, video news style where it pans to one person. You have the little picture up in the corner as we talk about the article. You know, do really cheesy, right. cheesy news puns. But anyway, right. <laughs> that's that. Um, so I think let's see what do we have cot news wise. Uh, if you we're having more and more people sign up, we also project Ghosts of War is much un- more underway than it was last week mm-hmm. uh, and if you're more in tune with that than I am at the current moment so do you want to talk anything about that sure well the the ghost war band is our war band in Chronicles of Tyria. Uh Dan who is one of our members is uh, he actually you know took the initiative or of uh, starting the, the whole story about the war band on the forums so cotforums.com um He's going to be posting the because we do we have uh, we're organizing a schedule where it's going to be the warband day. So whenever we log on on that day, you're free to join the the warband and just role play and everything, especially in the plains of Ashford. Uh, for now, because we have lower level people. Um. So we're role playing in there, and then from that role play, Dan gets some ideas about what he's going to write about, and your characters will show up in that story. Uh, today he sent me the the prologue of that uh, story, and it it was really good. It was hilarious, hilarious to me especially because I was there while some stuff happened, and uh, you know he's making references about this character and that character and it's pretty pretty cool so I mean if you want to be part of that warband uh, Dan actually made the guild which is the ghost warband guild Um, you can sign up on our forums to apply for the Chronicles of Tyria guild and then if you're interested in joining the the warband just post in the proper forum where uh, you'll be able to apply to be part of the the warband and uh, we'll be able to play with you in game. Yeah. Whew. So that is something that's going on. I know we ha- we're, there's a poll on there to figure out what day everybody would be best to do that. Yeah. Um, one of our members, which I have to make a, couple, a shout out to him, uh, Kalamakos, he uh, was saying that he heard, and we'll still have to inspect this a little further, that apparently Wednesday on the Tarnished Coast server is sometimes also referred to on, I think it's one of the Guild Wars, the big role-playing website. I don't know the exact link, and I'm sorry for that. Mm. But they have Warband Wednesday, yeah. where, like, they get a large group of people together and they all role-play Char in their, you know, in, a, like, a Warband on Wednesday. Right. So ours might not be Wednesday um, just because of, you know, everybody, you know, being able to make it. Yeah. 
But I'm not saying that's out of the question. Mm-hmm. Also, uh, Kalamakos wanted to just put his voice, his opinion for using fraps for all your video recording uh, in game. So I just told him I was going to say that he said that. So. Oh, okay. There you go. We just talked before. So. Hi, Kalimakos. You're an uh, awesome member. Yeah. A so. bunch of char in, in, in one sitting? That sounds awful. <gasps> it's actually there pretty fun. Go. Din, come on. <laughs> come it's on. Like... You had to miss my racism. <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> Tyrian racism. Uh-huh. Uh, well, we know that's lessened a little bit because somebody was playing in a Sura before. Uh-huh. And by somebody, I mean Din. No. Oh. This is last <laughs> This liar, is liar. slander. Slander. A slander. <laughs> Anyways. Um, <laughs> yeah. So. Did you guys have any shout outs you wanted to do? Well, Dint, I don't know if you want to shout out to people in real life because you haven't been in game oh, much. I'm in. I love you. Hey, Mom. <laughs> hey, Mom. I'm on the podcast. <laughs> um. <laughs> No, but I do. I would like to go ahead and make that announcement mm-hmm. that I talked to you guys earlier about. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead and bite the bullet. <laughs> um, now I don't know if it's if this is going to be it or if it's going to be the next one, depending on how future the 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 two worded li- live show thing goes but um this may very well be my last time as your permanent one of your permanent co-hosts of cot podcast (laughs) based off of scheduling issues and things like that like i have barely had time to play Mm -hmm. much less do you know podcast things and you know all of these other things it's just like i just i would much rather keep my job and pay my bills okay, no, no 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 I take that back yeah, I, <laughs> much rather means means I would enjoy doing that now I would much rather quit my job and keep doing this but this doesn't pay my bills so yeah. I need to to continue you know my job until I can find a more stable scheduling job because right. like Fridays I'm working like 12 hours 9 to 9 and I just want to like kill myself and then <laughs> I have no time to do anything. And so I can't, with the same mind and without like hindering the quality of the podcast, keep doing this with as busy as I am. But as soon as my schedule starts to free up, I am more than happy to come back. But, mm-hmm. but, uh, depending on how some sort of, you know, like, you know, how some schedules tend to change every now and then briefly, I would love to come back as a guest host every now and then. Mm hmm. Oh, absolutely, and we'd love to have you back. So, I'm sad. It's unfortunate that we had to make that, didn't have to make that announcement. But, you know, sometimes real life gets in the way, which right? is awful. But, right? You know, what are you going to do? <sighs> so, kill myself. <laughs> don't do that. No, no, don't do that. Then you won't be able to come back. Or play Guild Wars. Or play but Guild you know, Wars. You know what? I I believe that Tyria is the afterlife. That would be cool. That you know, and it's a based off, it's, like, it's, a, it's a form of reincarnation and based off of how of how much of a righteous life that you've lived here on Earth determines on how, what life you are born into in Tyria. You know, like say a char. <laughs> like say yeah, like say if you were this serial killer and you were just like the scum of the earth you know you're gonna be hey (laughs) you mean get off the podcast right now wow wow whoa whoa (laughs) that's let's let's dial this back in people i'm kidding um anyway shout out lagwin uh shout out um oh god i I would like to shout out to just the Tarnished Coast server as a whole for World vs. World because on several occasions during this week, we have owned every single outpost. Mm-hmm. Right. And we have totally decimated Sea of Sorrows and Gates of the Madness by owning everything, which has allowed me to get 100% map completion in 
all of the Eternal or in all of the World versus World maps because I could just easily walk to and from keep to tower and and so on and so forth. Yay! Yeah, we have two hundred and eighty-three thousand six hundred and fifty-seven points. Sea of Sorrows is at one hundred and seventy-nine thousand four hundred ninety. Gates of Madness is at eighty-eight thousand seven hundred fifty. Wow! Good job, Tarnished Coast. And I would also like to point out that Dan brought this to my attention a little bit earlier. As of the end of September ranks, Tarnish Coast was ranked 11th out of the U.S. servers in wow. World vs. World. And yeah. two of the people that were in front of us were Sea of Sorrows and Gates of Madness. So I'd like to think that that's probably going to change. Who ah. says role players can't PvP? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. So kudos to Tarnish Coast and everybody out there who's helping keeping the world in our favor. So. Yep. Good job, everyone. Definitely. Uh, how about you, Naveen? Shoutouts? I want to make a shout-out to Cuzwolf, who sent me eight hardwood oh, logs right. <laughs> and five thick leather sections, and I don't know who you are, yes, but thank that's, you. <laughs> that's right. Let me make my, my shout-out to New Blender, <laughs> or New Blender. I don't know how you pronounce it. New Blender or New Blender. Who who was before Cuzwolf and sent me? <laughs> he sent me. <gasps> it's not fair. 116 softwood logs, 49 coarse leather sections, 13 cure, cured coarse leather sections, 20 spools of cotton thread, 10 bolts of cotton, and 80 silver. 80 and I, silver. I don't know who you are, <laughs> but thank you very much. What's I, up I, with I, that, guys? What? Guys, I hate I hate to interrupt you, but I just stumbled on a wedding. <laughs> in a wedding going in, in in game. There is a wedding going on. Oh, that's cool. This should bring back memories, Naveen. Shout yeah, I know Guild Wars one. <laughs> shout out, shout out to the guild whose abbreviation is SKM, who is all having a spontaneous wedding in Lion's Arch, and near the Inner Harbor. What's the guild's name? I don't know. Uh, their click. abbreviation. Oh, it, how, do, how can I tell that? Click on the character. Uh, it's so hard to pronounce. <laughs> Sarathkar Mercantile. Mercantile. Mercant. Oh, okay. I will spell it out for you guys. No, that's fine. What are the yeah. two characters getting married? Uh, Halibal Rizul and Soraya Sarathkar. Cool. All right. Well, congratulations yeah. to you two. Hope for congratulations on the new many ups. happy returns. Hope you signed a prenup. Just saying. <laughs> Seriously, that, that gold's hard earned. She's <laughs> gonna leave your ass. She's gonna Keep leave your, your honeymoon in private, Matt. In private chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, there you go. Oh, that's uh, cute. Yeah. So. Also, I would like to uh, shout out to Emmy, who's in, who's a member of our guild, who brought up the subject of our podcast today. Oh, yes. Well, uh, let's talk about that. Before we get into it, I have one piece of news I'd like to point out, but let's let everybody know what we're going to be talking about. Oh, okay. Well, today we are going to talk about your dailies and how you can complete them under two hours. Right, and this is because Emmy had expressed the interest that she doesn't get to play as much as some of uh, the rest of us do. Mm -hmm. So being able to complete your daily in the short amount of time that she can spend in-game, especially during the week, uh, will be greatly appreciated. So we want to do, and by no means is this the only way to do it, no. possibly not even the best way to do it. Mm -hmm. We are just going to give you our personal experience from our time in game, and then you guys can kind of tweak it to fit however, you know, whatever works best for you. Yeah, or even leave comments. Uh, yeah. If you're listening on our YouTube channel, leave a comment, you know, in the comment box. Or, I mean, uh, if you're just uh, listening through iTunes, join at cotfroms.com and uh, post somewhere in there. Yeah, or send us an email at hosts at chroniclesoteria.com and we'll make sure we give you a shout out on our next podcast. That's an even better idea. That's also a good one. Yeah, so 
go me. Um, <laughs> or send I, a in-game mail to Naveen. Or Lagwin. 80 silver. Well, don't <laughs> send her 80 silver. Send me 80 silver. Let's keep the conspiracy going. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm done. <laughs> anyway. What's that piece of news you got? Right. So I wanted to point out for no anybody who didn't see on the ArenaNet main, or actually it's on the Guild Wars 2 webpage, there's a post up about the live team and what work the live team is going to be doing in Guild Wars 2. Mm. But most importantly, one, uh, we'll post a link in the description, but two, there is a piece of Halloween concept art showing, uh, you know, like what you see when you look at a loading screen, Mm -hmm. Um, but it's for Halloween in Guild Wars 2. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, slacker. Hey! (laughs) I have a child to attend to. I mean, I can't really call you slacker because it only came out, like, maybe... Ten minutes ago? (laughs) Three, four hours ago. Okay. Um, I was making dinner. (laughs) But it talks about, they reassure, you know, what the live team is going to be working on. Um, and they tell you a lot about different kind of live teams. Let me pull up the article right here. Let me just go quick through it. Mm. So there's a team working on security, a live team that's focused on the security of you and keeping your account safe. There's the live response team, which fixes bugs, does feedback, balances the game. There's the world. They focus on PvE, world versus world, dynamic events, that kind of stuff. Mm. There's the PvP esports people, which deal with more of SPVP stuff. Mm-hmm. Big news, which we kind of already knew, but we're going to go with it anyway. Holiday and events, and I will read you this whole section. Our holidays and events team will be creating a variety of special holidays in Guild Wars 2, building on the long tradition of amazing holidays in Guild Wars. You can likely guess which holiday you will see from this team first, Halloween, and I recommend that everyone check our website next week for more information about this first or this exciting first event. And here's the big one, which we've said before, but I'd love to reiterate it. On top of holidays, this team will also be creating in-game, one-time events that occur and can change the world or drive narratives that come to a finite conclusion across the world. (gasps) Okay, and we'll we'll touch on that in a second. Uh, Mac and performance, there's a Mac team that focuses on the beta client for the Mac version of the game. Oh, I want to point out, I'm playing on the Mac... Um, I tried the beta. Uh, I tried it, you know, uh, like two or three days after it came out, and I didn't really like it. And I tried it uh, this week. Major improvement. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. 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 All right. Well, there you go. Um, I think, I can't remember where it was. I saw, let me check this before I go back and finish. Uh, There was, it probably got lost in all of the, updates, but I remember somebody had asked on the official forums about a Linux client, and I know it got a response from an ArenaNet dev, but I don't know if there's anything ever came from that. Hmm. So, uh, sorry for that. <clears throat> I didn't get a chance to look it up. But anyway, back to the live teams. This is the one that kind of took me by surprise. Bonus teams. We will sometimes be creating additional teams not listed above. These teams will build specific cool features or events we decide we want to do outside of the scope of the other live teams. Spoiler, we have some of these teams hard at work right now, and you'll be seeing the first results of their efforts in November. (gasps) Lastly, we have our commerce team. You've heard from John Smith, our economist, from this team recently, and you'll be seeing many additions from our friends in the Black Lion Trading Company in the future. Um... We yeah. hope this. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, just the last paragraph, and I'll read that because I read everything else. Okay. <laughs> uh, we hope this look at Guild Wars 2 live development gives you some insight into how we're hoping to push the envelope in managing our live game. For those familiar with the original Guild Wars, you know we have a long history of adding incredible free content and features to the game. With a dedicated live team more than 10 times the size of the Guild Wars live team, hmm. We think you're going to be blown away by the size and scope of live additions to the world of Tyria for a very, very long time. You know what I'm scared of? What are you scared of? Bears. What? Australia. Spiders. Bears. Oh, spiders. <laughs> um, that with all these peoples working at the same time, something's going to go wrong. 
Oh, like, yeah. I mean, there's so much people, like, I don't know how to word it, but if there's too many people working on one thing, things can go wrong. Mm-hmm. And with all the bugs that we've been seeing in game, because, I mean, we were talking about it last week, they fix one thing and then 10 other things break. Um, with the coming Halloween events, when they start things up, is everything going to mess up? Uh, I'm scared. That's even more scary than spiders. <laughs> and that's not me not having faith in a internet, because I do. And there's not one game that I love most, you know, more than uh, Guild Wars 2. Right. But it's been really, really buggy, guys. Really. Well, I don't think anybody can deny that that's the case. But, I mean... All right. Yes, Guild Wars 1 spoiled everybody in having, what, 36 hours of downtime across seven years? Mm Mm-hmm. That's unheard of. Yeah. But also, think about Guild Wars 1. It was Mm -hmm. a fully instanced game. You know, there wasn't much going on. You know, out in the world, you didn't have to manage dynamic events, yada, 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 any of that stuff. Mm Mm-hmm. Now you do. And I mean, yes, I agree with everybody else that the game's been out for over a month, the bugs should stop, but, I mean, there's so much more to do. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, they should focus on fixing the game first and then adding this stuff. November? November is only in one month. Yeah, Yeah, but that's a special (laughs) team designed just for that. Yeah, but, I mean, game launch was a month away. Seems to me that the, the this version of the game is even more buggy than the beta was. I don't know, but that's me complaining. I'm done complaining. Yay! Guild Wars is awesome. Buy it. I swear you have like bipolar. No. Oh. I was thinking more schizophrenia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways. Well, Aaron looks like you're gonna have some fun times when you get back home. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. uh, right, so yes, that is my end of my news bid, which again, we won't have to worry about this in the future, it's just to be on a different show Yay <clears throat> So, alright, so our topic for today will be a quick topic I say it's going to be a short show, but that's a lie, because it never is um, <sighs> We have uh, half an hour left Okay, that's fine, we can do this yeah. How to complete your daily in two hours by chronicles of Tyrion. so for those of you that don't know which obviously if you're listening to this part of it you probably should but if you don't the way you achieve your daily is you need to get 60 kills of any kind mm-hmm. uh any kind of creature even a little mob little rat things that die in one hit those counts as kills um you need to kill 15 different types of enemies you need to gather 20 different items of some kind mm-hmm. from gathering nodes, whether that be tree or, you know, um, plant, you know, like the food for cooking or mining nodes. And you need to participate in five events, five dynamic events. Yeah. You have so, your daily kills, too. Right. I said that to start. Did oh. I 60, 60 kills <laughs> of any kind? Yes. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> so terrifying. yeah, let's just prep for Halloween. Um, oh, you haven't heard? Oh, okay, never mind. I haven't. Oh, well, here we go. Getting more spoilers for me. Teasers. For, oh, that I don't even know about. storm thing. I mean, what? No. What? No, 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 no. Um, I don't even know what Naveen's talking about. So I'm crazy. Well, that I do know what she's talking about. But, <laughs> uh, I'm so scared right now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you crying or laughing? I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Um, right. So, what in your experience, Naveen? How quick, or what's your best way, and where do you go to complete your dailies? <clears throat> Um, at first I didn't really have a plan about that. You know, I would just like go around and do my personal story and whoops, did my daily. Huh? When did that happen? I wouldn't even, you know, take a look at how much time it took me or anything. It was really like 
go from map to map and you're done with your daily. When Emmy came up with that question, and she, you know, she said it would be a good topic, I was like, huh, how could we do that? Then I had a nice little discussion with you, Lag. Mm -hmm. And I tried that, um, and it actually doesn't take that much long. I, of course, I already had some of my daily uh, done. Right. But I'm probably sure that you could do it in an hour and a half. Absolutely. Uh, even uh, quicker than that if you have some speed buffs. I didn't have any speed buff. Right. And I was stopping here and then to, you know, do events and stuff. But right. in Queensdale, that's right outside of Divinity's Reach, you have every single thing you need to complete your daily pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Kills. There are a bunch of events that involve centaurs. You could yeah. probably get your daily kills just by doing one or two events. And an event is what, like 10 minutes? Tops. It depends. Uh, some of those ones, um, my, some of my favorites to do are the ones that happen at the farm right outside of, uh, right outside of, wow, what the hell is that area? Shaymore? Uh, Shaymore, right. Because you have um, the, all the mobs where it's just waves and waves of like bandits Bandit. that come to set the place on fire. Right. So you just have the enemies come to you. Yeah. And you just kill them. Yeah. And then there's your daily for yeah. kills. So that's one kill variety. And in that place, you have worms, too. So yeah. that's two. And I think you may have a rabbit or two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that counts, too. So that's yep. three. That's three types. That took five minutes. You only need 15 types of enemies. Mm-hmm. And right next to it, I mean, you're in the farmland. There's yep. probably two or three things to gather. Yep. And uh, you just did one or two events at one place. Mm -hmm. That's, you, you, you know, three events is tier two of that uh, daily. So. Right. And I mean, not very far from there, you have Farmer Ida with the apple picking event. Yes. Where you can, that's an easy one. Uh, and just so you know, you ha you don't have to get gold on these events. You just need to participate in these events for them to count. Yeah. So you could run over to that event, gather an apple, give her one apple, and then run away. As long as you stay in Queensdale, you'll get participation in that event. You can move on to the next one. Mm. And just so people know, even if your event fails, it mm -hmm. still counts as completed. Right. It's still it's participation in an event, not not passing an event or anything like that. Yeah. So there's that. Then I would also say, you know, you run down by the water. You've got scales and drakes right by the water where there's that event that can spawn the brood mother or other things like that. Mm -hmm. The dam has elementals and harpies, and there's usually a harpy event, and the elder elemental event spawns pretty often. Mm-hmm. Um, in and case you don't know, moas and, you know, deer and cows and fish. longhorn. Yep, fish. Any of those are all different kill varieties. Yeah. So you've got all of those. you got the spiders by the farm. Um, let's see. What else is there? If you go, so let's say, oh, and another reason I choose Queensdale is because, yes, you are down-leveled. But if you're level 80 or in, even in, like, your 30s or 40s, you're going to almost one to two hit kill all of these enemies. Mm -hmm. So it makes it extremely easy for you to rack up your daily kills. Mm. Um, you go to Queensdale. Right outside of Queensdale, or I'm sorry, out of Beetleton, rather, there's a lettuce patch that has about seven to nine different heads of lettuce that you can gather. Yeah. And that's more than half because you only need 20. Yep. And I mean, the crafting resources in Queensdale is incredible. I'm just going through the Guild Wars 2 wiki, and there's aspen sapling, button mushrooms, carrots, copper ore, onions, lettuce, as we just mentioned, and a rich copper vein. Right. Rich copper vein is, wait, 3 times 4? Mm hmm So that's 12. Wait, would that be considered? No, that would be just considered as 4, right? 
No, it's each piece you gather, as far as I know. Well, there you go, 12. Yep. It's crazy. So, um, and then, you know, if you, if you travel further around Queensdale, I mean, you've got centaurs. That's another type. You've got eagle raptors. Um, Skrit. Skrit. I think there's minotaur as well. Um, there's the wasps from the wasp event. There's the oh, wild yeah. boar. Um, I don't know. There's a bunch of... There's wargs. There's wolves. Um, yeah, all the juvenile stuff you can just kill all, also. And there's a juvenile boar, forest spider, river drake, Crichton drake hound, and a pig that you can find, and that's only in Queensdale. Yeah, there's an ooze spawn from the ooze events. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, down in the swamp, because the swamp is in Queensdale... You've got the shades and the whatever the hell those things are with the horns that spawn. I can't remember how you pronounce it. It starts with, it's like A-A-T-X-E. Atax? Yeah, sure, we'll call them that. Oh, and the, yeah, 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 and the swamp. Yeah. swamp, yeah, mm-hmm. because that's Queensdale. Queensdale is so big. Yeah, and I mean, not there to say f- that you could just do this in Queensdale. You could do this in, um, I also like the Plains of Ashford, right by the water where the tar event spawns, because that spawns. And then usually the Flame Legion shaman spawns. Hmm. I like the low-level areas, in yeah. my opinion. I was going to say that. Because um, even if you, you don't have a human, or like you're low-level, you're another race, just go to your star, starter area, and most of them have all the things you need to complete your daily. Right, and... They seem to throw in more events because that's where you would be starting and they want to get you acclimated to that part of the game. Mm. You know what? Um, My homework for next podcast will be to time how much time it takes me to complete the daily. And then I'll come back to you on that. But I'm pretty sure it's an hour and a half. Not more than that. What about you, Dent? What do you mean? I, like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it to the next one. No, 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 no. I meant about as far as... Your daily goes. Dailies and things like that. Oh. See, here's my issue, though, is I I, I, I feel so bad because all of the other MMOs that exist have, like, broken me to where I keep forgetting that, like, daily achievements exist. <laughs> so it's never on my to-do list. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, like, I remember the first time I actually completed completed like all of my dailies it was like a week after the game came out and I, and then I got like that big achievement thing I was like what the hell is that? oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> so like I'm not a master about completing anything but I just all I know is you know when it comes to the requirements for it like for example you know like the just the kill variety or the gathering <laughs> The gathering kind of got on my nerves a little bit just because I've never really been into crafting or anything like that or mm-hmm. gathering any sort of materials. So it kind of took a little me a little bit to kind of get into the habit of like, oh, yeah, and like looking on my on my mini map for like little green leaves or big rock things, you know, things like that. And But, you know, once I got into the habit of it, it was like a super easy experience. The events, though, that one's the, probably, like, the biggest peeve, though, because you kind of have to wait for those to happen. Mm. Yeah, that's definitely one that I think takes the longest, unless you're right. thinking at, about that ahead of time. Mm-hmm. Right. But at the same time, it's only you only need five events. It's not like you need 15 or anything. Mm-hmm. So right. that one's actually really doable if you're lucky. Like, because I remember whenever I, like, whenever, like, it first released... Then, like the first week or so, it's like you'd walk out from Divinity's Region to Queensdale, and it'd just be like, "There's that big worm thing." Okay, there's the brood mother. Okay, the spiders are attacking. <laughs> the bull is all angry, and the wasps are out. Shit is going down. <laughs> like, it was just like event after event after event, and so I'm sure everyone was getting their dailies then. But it was just like now, it's there's like it's so seldom. Hmm. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I don't think. Well, I mean, I don't think it takes that. I don't think it really takes that that long. Two hours, if you're like actively trying to get it done. Mm-hmm. Even shorter than that. Uh, I agree with you when you say that the events are the the, the hardest one to to achieve. Um, 
but again if you're in the starter areas that's when you know most people uh, are most of the time I've noticed and uh, they trigger the events pretty quickly yeah uh, if you go again in wiki and check out Queensdale mm -hmm. there's a complete list of events that they have and there must be like 40 or 50 in there Oh wow! and that's just for one map uh, you have one two three four five six events that are level two and then mm -hmm. five that are level three so these only I'm pretty sure you could finish in really really quickly because the lower level I mean if you're level 80 you kill stuff in there like in one hit or two <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's why I prefer your low-level areas. Yeah. Just for that. Just convenience. Yeah. Um, I mean, you... not to say you can't do... Like, you can get, you know, daily kills and even some events from doing a dungeon. Because I've gotten some that way when I'm grinding, you know, dungeon coins and tokens and things. But it's not as efficient as it would be, you know. And that's because I'm when I'm doing that, I'm not actively trying. Right. But for someone who's like working a lot during the day and then only has like two or three hours at night to play and they want to continue with their personal story, then just go to a lower, lower level area, complete your daily, and then you'll probably have an hour to play in your personal story still. Because when you're in your personal story, you don't get the, the, um, the events. Right. So, and since this is like the... the I would say not the most complicated, but the longest to to get. Then, then that's a pain. Right, and I mean the reason, you know, if you guys don't know what you get, every time you do, you get a little bit of silver, and I'm not positive on the amount. I think it varies. Mm -hmm. You get some experience. You always get a mystic coin, mm -hmm. which for those of you saving up for your legendaries, that's huge because you need, you know, everything and any kind of people that are interested in the mystic forge at all mystic coins are a very common uh item required for uh intricate mystic forge recipes and currently the only way to get them outside of buying them off of the trading post is to get them from your daily which is one a day or get them from your monthly which is 20 a month mm -hmm. and the other thing is you can't you know you can't buy them off the trading post but the prices on those have gone up they're almost two silver now per Ooh. coin. When they first came out, they were hovering around 50 copper or less. Right. Um, and sometimes you also get other cool things along with a Mystic coin. You might get, say, a... Uh, I've gotten Mystic Forge Stones. Mm -hmm. um, just the other day, I got a Black Lion Trader Express in mm. remote access to the Black Lion Trading Company. Um, instant repair canisters, you know, just the convenience things that you can only get from the gem store you can sometimes get out of, uh, you know, from your daily. So, mm. Well, here's the list. Uh, basic transmuti transmutation stone, the fine transmutation stone, <laughs> bank access express, black lion merchant express, salvage kit, trader express, mystic forge stone, instant repair canister. And the instant repair canister has been is relatively new as an item. I just got like a stack of four the other day. Oh, they're so useful. Oh, it's nice to have that. Plus you don't have to pay seven silver to repair your armor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, there's a note that the skill challenges uh, where you need to fight, although you will get an event completed notification, they don't count towards the daily event completion. No, oh, that sucks. Mm. Yeah. I guess that explains why it was taking me so long. <laughs> yeah, because I thought I remember that happening too, but maybe they fixed it. Mm. Or, you know, they didn't want it to be that way. Right, because it doesn't even give any XP and everything, but, I mean, because that would be crazy easy to finish your events. Because yeah. if the, the skill challenge is just to battle someone and kill them, then the other player next to you talks to him again. I mean, that's... Yeah, you could just continually do that for your event. Yeah, exactly. So, that pretty much sums it up. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I mean, 
unless you guys have any other little tips or tricks, that's that's you know my main my main thing. So, mm-hmm. and um, I'd love to hear other people how they achieve it. Oh yeah, because I mean, I'm there, there's the very high probability that one of our listeners out there has like a no 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 guys do it this way. Yeah, this it is takes much exactly better. Exactly 35 minutes yeah. and then you're done. What are you guys what are you guys talking about? You don't know. Um hosts at Chronicles of Tyria, that's hosts plural. Yes. Send us emails and we'll Dude. read it on the next one. Yep. Um as for anything else we have going on, I don't think there's much. Yep. Uh things we need to talk about. Um No, I'm pretty sure we uh, summed everything at the beginning. And, um, like we mentioned, we can't promise you guys that the lore shows will be an hour or less. <laughs> yeah. But definitely, just Guild Wars 2 discussion, we'll try to keep it at one hour. Yeah. We're going to, uh, you know, as we, as we said, we're going to try to move the news, you know, to, uh the news show Mm -hmm. so that should help limit the time of our general lore shows because we won't have to spend all the time in the beginning right um if you have a guild wars community of some kind and you would like to come on for an interview or something like that let us know we'll gladly you know we'd love to have more people on Mm -hmm. um if you didn't see live tyria after dark um Check out one of their most recent episodes. Naveen is on there. Yeah, that's episode 12, Materia After Dark. It is very cool. Yay! Um, I was there live. You'll hear me get mentioned quite a bit in that show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, check it out. So, other than that, if you, well, we told you how you want to get a hold of us, if you want to join our guild, just so you know, we pretty much constantly have. You know, boosts to influence and the plus ten percent magic find boost up all the time. Yep. Working on karma boost because we just queued up uh, research economy level four. So. Yeah. We also have guild armor. We have guild armor. We do have guild <laughs> armor. We do. Uh, we have you know, guild stash and all that good stuff as well. Yeah, and pretty soon, very near future, we're going to have a calendar with events and stuff that we're going to be planning. So, check us out at cotfroms.com. But, I mean, if you want to reach us to other places and social networks, go to chroniclesateria.com. Everything's there. Yeah. Alright. So, for Chronicles of Tyria, episode number 21... And unfortunately, possibly one of Dint's final regular host episodes. Would you have a word? Do you want a word before we close the show? Yeah. You want to say anything to uh, our fans and listeners? As like a final goodbye? Well, well not as not a final, a final one, but oh. for, for now. Um, bitches ain't shit. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll put the explicit tag on iTunes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's just uh, I really, in, I have really enjoyed everything that COT has brought into fruition into my life of Guild Wars Sing, and it's not final. Like I said, it's temporary until I can get more scheduling issues underway mm. to make it more podcast friendly. Mm-hmm. But, um, but yes, but I love you all. You Aww. all know that. Well, except for the char. <laughs> yes, obviously. Oh, man. Anyway, well, thank you, Dent. It's been great. It's not final. But, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get you back on a more regular basis going forward. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so... Uh, besides, you need to get in game and start playing so I can start enacting all the debts you owe me from Guild Wars 1. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, again, for Chronicles of Tyria episode number 21, I am Lagwin. I'm Dent. And I'm Naveen. And we'll see you next time. Bye, ya.
Uh, yeah, acting cray cray boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's <was> so funny. <laughs> oh man. 